Good morning, everybody, and I'm delighted to welcome this morning uh, Brian Coventry, who's a long-standing uh, friend of mine within the accountancy sector. So Brian has a, is a qualified accountant, chartered accountant, and has been running two global software businesses, Symphony and Cloud Capture, uh, for several years, very successfully, I hasten to add. But the reason Brian is here today is that he's also the founder and author of a methodology for accountancy firms called Envision. So, uh, Brian, I'd be very grateful if you could explain to the audience what Envision is, please. Yeah, sure, Dermot. Well, in a nutshell, Envision's about change. Um, when when firms embark on a project um, that changes the functionality or the capability within a business, there's essentially two prime forces that are in play uh, when those changes have been put in place. And we refer to those as driving and restraining forces. Um, in my experience, um, particularly in relation to technology projects, and Envision began its days um, dealing with uh, primarily practice management and CRM platforms. But all too often, we noticed that um, firms tended to concentrate on the hopes and ambitions of that new piece of technology or capability uh, was going to bring towards the firm. And we got we got um, sort of swayed or we, we applied too much emphasis to the hopes and ambitions of what that new outcome was going to look like within the firm. And we tended to forget um, or evaluate the restraining forces or the things that hold us back when we're going through change. Um, all too often, I think, um, firms look at something that's new as the panacea to cure the ill. Yeah. Um, but in, in experience, what happens is, is that these, these restraining forces soon show up to hold us back. And, and it's a bit akin to like tackling a mountain for the first time and feeling that it's going to be okay to get to the top of it. And then you get halfway up and you realise you, you've run out of energy or, or fuel to get you to the top. And really that's around just bad planning um, and, and not being fit enough to get you over the line. And, and Envision's no different to that. And the, the methodology around Envision allows firms to unpack these dynamics, these restraining forces, and build some clarity around why they exist within the firm. And if you can do that, um, what you're able then to do is move on and get absolute clarity around why are we making this change um, and if you can do that then you can start to plan out how you're going to execute the way forward and that's the right order to do it in get very clear around why we're doing it how we're, how we're going to execute and what that allows you to do is get maximum buy-in to the change and also reduce pushback and that's a crucial step to take a lot of projects that we look at sometimes, people just get fixated on what it's going to look like, what it's about, and and not spend enough time getting some clarity or building clarity around why we're doing it and how we're going to execute it and who might be the best person or people to bring into that project to get the maximum outcome um, that, that we want. And essentially it's, it's, a, it's looking at that first before you go uh, looking at options that, that you, you might want to put in place to affect some form of change in the business. It doesn't have to be about technology. Uh, it can be about branding. Um, it could be about marketing. Um, it guess it could be about the tax system. It could be about accounting system. It's a generic methodology that allows you just to unpack the things that will impede your road to success. Fantastic. 